hi beauties <laughs> welcome back to my channel um today we're gonna do a vlog um you saw i just washed my hair so i had to get her together um i have the same hair routine um, i'll link that video down below so you guys can see the products that i use but i pretty much use the same products um all the time and the hair i'm wearing now is what is it indique hair um so i'm about to take this weave out actually like in a week or two um because you can't tell but like when the track starts growing, it gets harder to cover. So um, I'm working hard to cover that track. Um, but today I actually have to go into Manhattan. I wanted to go to Soho to stop at the Frankie shop. They have these pants me and my bestie are into and they're not on the website and I wanna see if they're in store. Um, I have some returns. I have a return at B&H, which is 34th Street, it's the camera store, um, if you guys are not familiar. And then I just wanted to walk around, get some steps, get some air. I had like a rough week where just a lot of things were happening and I didn't upload this past week because I was just honestly exhausted. Just like really tired, feeling really burnt out. Feeling like a little creative, creatively like, not stuck, but just kind of like blah. And usually like ideas and things like that just come to me instantly. Um, so just feeling like that, I was just like, like you know what, let me take a little pause. Um, I probably will go out today to do those things. Uh, maybe stop in Zara, I haven't been there in a while. Um, I have some things in the mail that I do want to show you guys when I get back. Um, pretty much all the things off my wish list <laughs> I got. Like two things I got because they were good deals. Um, so I'll show you guys that stuff. And then I actually have got some stuff from the Sephora sale that I want to show you guys. Um, by time, oops, by time this video those are other packages I have to show you guys. But by the time this video goes live, I believe there'll be two days left of the Sephora sale. So I figured I would just show you guys what I got. Um, shout out to Carla who won the contest, the Sephora giveaway with my recommendations. But I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. And just kind of chit chat. Um, it's weird and I'm sure a lot of people are going through this in life with feeling like they want to change and go into their dreams. So I've been kind of doing that now so everything that I've been absorbing and just like absorbing as far as content uh podcasts I listen to has been all about positive po positivity and changing my mindset because I feel like sometimes with mindset shifts like it's hard because I'm like a realist and like a manager and I feel like at my job especially working and managing almost like a customer service room you deal with a lot of negativity somebody's unhappy this employee's unhappy so you deal with that and I gotta I'm just trying to get that off of me <laughs> Get that off of me. Shh, shh, shh. I can't do negative today. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. So I've been really working towards that and just trying to try new things with my channel as well. Like more lifestyle, more talking, more vlogging, um, and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy like me sharing these things about myself. Um, but let's get into what I got for the Sephora sale. So I'm Rouge, 20% off, I believe VIB is 15 and then Insider's 10. Um, a lot of things I recommend, I got some new things um, that I want to share. So I got, this wasn't even on my list, but Soul de Janeiro, I was kind of, I had a gift card and I was just having fun in the store. Um, the Soul de Janeiro, the drenched body butter, this is the purple one, it smells really good. And then I was telling one of the associates that I was looking for a thicker body cream and I had the Josie Marin, but then all of a sudden I went to this. So I got this, they would have an event where I got a free gift for purchase, so I got this along with the Soul de Janeiro Mist. And and in the shower, I got the body scrub, the wave body scrub that I was talking about. And I'm just, again, practicing more self-care. So when I take a shower at night, you know, I'll scrub my body. Then I lotion this and spray this because it's a mist. So I don't have to really worry about wasting perfume in the night. Spray this and I just, I just feel good because I smell good. And I'm just trying to have better sleep. So this combo together, it smells really good. It has notes of vanilla orchid, sugar violet, and sheer sandalwood. I'm know I know notice that I really love notes of vanilla and things. So I love this, especially for like a nighttime routine. Where if you're want to, if you're a gym girl and want to keep this in your bag, this is great. And probably lay with the actual perfume, but this is great. And I also too bought the roller ball. Oh, that's not it. The roller ball, like the travel spray of the Sol de Janeiro Cherioso. Um, parfum so I get to try this out this is really sweet too so I was like let me just try it out um, because I feel like for my fragrances I was kind of in a rut like I still have to re-up I still have my Valentino in my cart but I had to re-up and get some other things um, so I got those things I wanted to try I've been hearing great things about the brand Refi the lip sculpt 
and it's almost like a lip liner it's a brown lip liner you guys know I love a makeup forever but this is a lip liner um, but it's supposed to have like a primer to set the lip liner <laughs> so we have to try that I, I mean I'll give you guys my thoughts I probably won't try it today honestly because I was thinking about just not wearing makeup because I just I just my skin needs to breathe so we have that I got the topical faded under eye patches which is so talked about so I can't wait to try these um, I re-upped on my Dr. Jenna's Gross pads because I needed to get these. Like, these are, like, I literally bought these last time and that was in January. So, these I don't use all the time, but they're good to have in my routine. Um, I got the Fenty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. I don't even like highlighters, so I bought this. I just wanted to try it. It, it felt soft, it felt, it felt pretty. Um, and then one of my friends, she works with a brand, she sold me this. It is the Urban Decay Face Balm Waterproof Foundation. <laughs> I was like, whatever, I'll try it. And then I got the Sephora Mascara, um, which was 30% off, which is big by definition. I haven't tried this, but I liked the, um, the spoolie looked good, so I'll try this. And those are the things I got from the Sephora sale. I'll link my Sephora recommendations video down below so you guys can check it out since there's a few more days left. But I always say, if you were willing, you want to try something new, the sales time and try it and to be up on the you know the things that cost a lot so here's what i'm wearing shopping urban revival top denim jeans these are h&m i showed you guys and i pulled out my denim converses and i'm going to wear my loewe dupe puzzle bag and loewe sunnies um no makeup i just don't feel like wearing it but cute casual fit Let's go. We made it to Soho. Oh my God, guys, it's so nice out, but it, the wind is blowing. I Like when I walked from my building to my car, I thought my weave was literally gonna blow off my head. It's already a little loose, so I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but it's actually really nice in New York. It's 59 degrees, which is for us 75 degrees. So Soho's kind of really packed right now, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna probably walk over to the Frankie shop first. Um, then Zara and see what other, you think I should show, let me, I should probably go to Gucci to try those shoes on because I'm a menace and I like to cause problems on my own. But um, yeah, let's go. I have to get to B&H by six o'clock um, to do my returns because they are, um, they're Jewish owned. So they're closed on Saturdays. So Sunday's like the only time I can go um, there on um, Sundays because they close on Saturdays for their, um, they close Saturdays, so I have to see, um, I have to make sure I hit there by 6 o'clock. Um, yeah, let's go. You should see how packed Soho is right now. It's packed. It's, it's crazy. Let's go. So I just left the Frankie shop. They don't have what I'm looking for. Um, there was like these red cool pair of like full leather joggers online that were sold out immediately. And she said they had three pairs and they sold out immediately and they don't have them in the other store. So I figured I would check because sometimes online they say they have, they don't have things. And then when you go in the store, they have them. So I figured I'll check. I'll just run into Zara and maybe Stodd. I've been wanting to go in there and see what they have. Um, as you can see, it's like really bright out. It's just like the perfect day. It's the perfect New York day. Reminds me of a Gucci. Uh, Ooh, it's 259 right? Yes. Thank you. So I just popped into TJ Maxx because that bracelet is like a Gucci dupe bracelet. So I was like, oh, I want to see it um, in person because on TikTok they had mentioned it was a dupe. And I swear she told me it was like $60 and I looked at the price tag, it was $259. I'm like, girl, no. <laughs> the girl on TikTok definitely said she paid $60 for that bracelet, so I don't know. And I had went in here last time when my bestie was here to check it out, but they were so busy 
and it was definitely sixty dollars. So I don't know when it became three hundred dollars. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> I got a few cute tops. Um, I've been needing tops because as you know, I'm like, I have a ton of bottoms that I just been purchasing and purchasing and I'm like, why don't I have any tops? I'm experimenting with some new colors. I love white and neutrals, but I got the top in pink. I got like the mustard color top just to see if I can color block with some other things. Um, but I was actually quite impressed. I have to try it on so it could all be misses, <laughs> but I hope they're all wins. I do want to go right across to Stodd, which is right across the street. Um, see what else the city brings me, but I might have to make my way to b and since I decided to drive. too like I love this denim and with what I have on how cute love these these are cute too these are the shoes this belt for work pants. I'm gonna go a little shorter. Cute. Perfect for my work pants. Uh. I was like, I don't know if I feel comfortable in these. So I just left Gucci. Got me a little gifty gift. Um, if you go to the one on Wooster, check. Uh, ask for Jay. He was awesome and helping. And I tried the loafers, guys. I gotta sit and think about that. Um, because I don't think that's gonna be for me. <laughs> um, they weren't like really heavy, they just were a lot. I felt like I would like twist my ankle and I didn't want to make an impulse purchase. So we have to think about those, but what do you guys think about them? I have to shoot on another street because the light is nuts in certain areas. So now I'm running late. I'm gonna go back to my car so I can go to B&H before they close at six. They're like on 34th Street, so I'm gonna go do that. I think 
with my Gucci purchase, I am done <laughs> for the day. And my little Zara things, I am done. So it's time for me to go back to my car. I'll show you guys b and but it's just a camera store and I'm just going for a return. So I'll probably catch up with you guys when I go home so I can show you what I got. So guys, I'm driving home now because of course I missed the, the B&H. It was, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I got there in time and then I couldn't find parking but then at like 520 I saw all these people like in front of there well this I guess the security guard saying no more people can come in which I mean all right which I mean sucks for me so I was like okay even if I was right there at the time it seems like I wasn't gonna be able to get in so that's on me I'm gonna have to figure out another time to go so now I'm on the way home driving while recording which I should not be doing um, but I want to show you guys what I got I'm pretty sure you already know what I got from Gucci um, and then what I got from Zara and just a few other things that I wanted to share with you guys before um, it sells out so I hope you enjoyed the shopping day in the city I tried to hit different stores like I never really go into Gucci because I always know I'm gonna be tempted I know I'm gonna be tempted so um, I enjoyed my time in there and it was just such a fabulous feeling that I deserve to have this week so let me get home um, stop and probably just get some takeout food and then show you guys what I got from Zara and from Gucci so I wanted to show you guys what I got from Zara um, excuse my room I'm just I have stuff on my bed so this is the first dress it's not zipped all the way I kind of need some help zipping it but I'm wondering if it's like a little too short like I can zip it um, I just need some help zipping it because um, I'm here at home alone. Um, but I do think it's cute. I'm just wondering if is it is it wearable? Like if I have a heel. Because one thing I hate and it's probably like it's starting to get on my nerves. If I have something that's a mini and I have to keep tugging at it all night. Like that can be really annoying. But like I didn't even show you guys my new shoes. But like. Might as well show you now the Ferragamo box. So I told you guys I wanted these shoes, um, and then they were on sale on C Tire. Um, so I just bought them because it's not often you find a nine and a half in stock. So I went for it. But I'm wondering if I do like with this shoe, like you know, like a red like color block moments, like red on red. Like, will it be too short? Like, I'm giving the girl's leg. I'm giving the girl's leg and body, but I don't know. I'm looking at myself in the mirror in front of me, like, is it giving cute or is it just too short? I think it could be giving cute mini. Let me know what you guys think. Is it too short? Let's try on the next thing, but let's look at these shoes. Ooh, so cute, right? So freaking cute. And they're actually really, really comfortable. I love the heel. Um, I love the strappiness here for the spring, summer. So cute. So the next is this like mustard kind of crop top. Not crop top, but it's like cut, it has a cut out. It has a cut out here, cut out here. I'm not sure how I feel about it because now that I have it on with jeans, it like bunches here and I will want to wear it with jeans. So, and I'm not sure if I like how it smashes my breasts. <laughs> so I'm not sure, but I was just looking at tops that were like different colors, um, just to kind of pair it like differently, like in the spring, summer, especially like looking to, you know me, I, I'm not a colorful person, but I like to add pops of color here and there. So I'm, I was thinking like like this color with like red and like my red Gucci horse fit would be like really cute, like as pairing and styling together. Um, but I'm not sure if I like how this top like is laying, if that makes sense. Because realistically, something I would have pants or trouser wise would be high. Hmm. But I'm, I'm liking the color, but I'm just not sure of the fit. And of course, when I put this on, like I ripped the tag, so Zara better not have any issues when, if I return this, because <laughs> the tag, it just popped off, but it's here. So let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let's go on to the next Zara purchase. So this next top was hell for me to get in. Like one thing about Zara and a corset, 
they will make it damn near impossible for you to get into it so I am whew, I am sucked in this top like my god <laughs> Lord, I'm like, and I just ate too. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have eaten. But it has a zipper on the side. I don't have a, a lot of colors like this. I'm not a pink girl, but I did like this pink because, again, I don't know. I was thinking, like, again, color blocking. I could wear with white, maybe, like, red. Um, you know, neutral. And I did like the structure of the top. And if you look closely, it's like a halter, which I thought was, like, really good. Whew, I don't know if I should have gotten a size large. This is a medium. I do. I think I'm going to keep it as is because I know the large will probably be too big. But I did like the color. Even if I wanted to wear with like a cream, like my wide leg, like um, either denim. Because we could do denim like this and either keep it with white. Or we can do it with like... Um, a white pleated trouser like those white pleated trousers that I wanted from the Frankie shop would look awesome with this pink and like a cute pair of sunglasses very feminine so I do like this top it's just I can't eat anything while I have it on so I think we're thumbs up looking this color and of course I will link everything from Zara I have one more thing um it's like a bubble dress and I kind of wanted to wear it like over jeans because clearly if you see this it's it's gonna be too short for me but I didn't realize like when I bought it it has like it has like shorts inside so I'm gonna try it on and see what I can do but technically I wouldn't be able to wear this with jeans over it if it has shorts made into it so this might end up going back I'll try it on for kicks but I already know it's gonna be too short like if I'm already thinking this is too short I think this is gonna be way too short but I'll try it just so we can see <laughs> so this last dress is like going back um if you're more petite like a little bit like s smaller than I am as far as like height I think you'll love it. it it gives me very like tennis vibes it gives me Serena Williams Venus on the court <laughs> um it does it is like shorts when you put them on their art it is shorts but I just think like I look kind of silly cute but just not for me so the things I got from Zara are a so-so and then guys you should have seen me trying to get out of this top so I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this because I just know how it is especially with Zara's corset tops they're so hard to get in and out of and I don't know will I wear this once and it just be like a dub um let me know what you guys think of the Ferragamo shoes and I think we're gonna end the video here Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me, what I got from the Sephora sale, what I got from Zara. <laughs> Most of it's going back and just spending the day with me overall and Gucci. Oh my God, I totally forgot to show you guys the Gucci, what I got from Gucci. Sorry, I got excited. So clearly with the small box, I didn't get the loafers. Um, I forgot to wrap up about those so when I felt them in store they were they weren't as heavy they were very high as you can see um, they were high I don't know like I they were cute but I wasn't like oh my god I need to have them it's definitely something that I would like to have but not not for immediate purchase um, so I'm glad I got to try them I did have a sock on and with the sock um, he gave me a shoehorn Jay gave me a shoehorn to put the um, shoe on because you cannot get in and out of those and then I was like am I gonna twist my ankle I don't know I'm glad I was able to try them I, they had the Gucci monogram but I just felt like I didn't need to have them if that makes sense like if they were maybe under a thousand maybe but the the Gucci monograms are thir 1300 and the regular, regular leather are 1500 so I'm so glad that I went to Gucci to try them on and kind of got that itch off but then I left with something, something else instead. Um, I've been needing a belt just for my trouser pants, like in general for work and for the office. Um, so I picked up this belt, which is perfect. Uh, let me show you guys. So of course, came in a box, Gucci dust bag. And I apologize for the lighting. I got home a little late with all the traffic and it got dark out. Um, so I got just a Gucci thin belt um just to go and then just to go in my trouser pants but i like it because the buckle 
here you guys can see it's like a faint gold so I like how faint it is that it will go with either silver or gold um, thing so I'm really excited about this I believe this is a 80 I don't remember the size actually but I'm excited about it I'm glad I got it I've been looking for a belt and I think this one is perfect so yeah, that's what I got from Gucci. Um, the store on Wooster, I never really went in there. Um, it's so funny, like all the things I've purchased from Gucci hasn't been from Gucci in New York, it's been Gucci Paris, um, Gucci in Miami. Um, now this is my first purchase in New York um, at the Wooster store. So definitely ask for Jay if you go in that store. He was fabulous. And it was such a nice little vibe um, in there. The store was gorgeous, like absolutely stunning. The sunnies are are gorgeous I still like the shoes they're still cute but maybe like am I gonna wear them the whole year like am I gonna wear them into the spring into the summer or am I gonna wear a few times with a few cute looks and then put them down so that's that's what I'm debating and plus I got so many other things I was like I need to just relax so the belt was a great purchase I know I will have this forever so this is a great purchase for me um, so yes now we are ending the vlog I have some other things to show you guys but I'm gonna have to save that for our next video um, during the week because we will be here all night and I just want to see what I get before I show you guys because just like this skirt this dress thing this was like a miss so, so let me know if you enjoyed this vlog slash spend the day with me slash haul slash everything um so yeah be sure to like comment subscribe until next time guys be safe and be well bye